If you are a recent student who finished high school and you want to pursue engineering, or you are already in your first or second year in engineering, here are some of the things that I'd like to share with you, some of them that you should know or you should have been told. Currently, the demand for engineers is actually very high. For instance, in Kenya, one engineer serves around 5,000 people. So in a population of 50 million citizens, only 20,000 of that population are engineers, which is very, very low. We have a demand of at least 10,000 engineers in Kenya uh, who, are, who need to be registered for us to meet the standards of uh, international standards for UNESCO, the ratio for engineers to the required population. So this is a very, very uh, high demand career and you are in the right track. So here are some of the things that you should know or somebody should have told you earlier. Number one, not all engineering courses are marketable. Some of these courses are actually useless, so to say. Courses like uh, agriculture engineering, you might end up wasting your five years having done uh, the agriculture engineering. So it's not a very marketable course. And some of the most marketable courses in engineering are civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, software and hardware engineering, petroleum engineering, and also aeronautical engineering and robotics engineering. Those are some of the most marketable courses. But the number one most marketable is civil engineering. So you might find yourself working as an engineer even before graduating if you pursue mechanic, uh, uh, civil engineering. So I'd recommend that you go for these courses. Actually, I had friends who used to work part-time because they already secured positions way before even graduating. So the other thing that you should uh, have been told and should know that is engineering is very tough. We can all agree on this. Uh, having And that's why it's not for the light-hearted. Because for you to pursue an engineering course, electrical engineering course, you must have an A- minus and above. So meaning you are a tough guy. And in sciences, you are very strong. So this is not a course for the light-hearted. And it's quite, it's quite uh, a tough course. So your toughness is very much required point number three is that you will not use most of what you learn so algebra calculus physics quantum physics and all that you might not end up using so some of those units in the field but are they entirely useless no they are meant to make you tough and improve your decision and problem solving skills so do not dismiss them they are there to help you become a better person and improve your critical thinking number four this is a male dominated field why am i saying this is because it's a tough course so to say because majority of the time you'll be expected to be on top of buildings under mines and also working with cranes you're on top of what do we call these wind turbines and all that? Ladies are afraid of some of these things, and that's why majority of them shy away. All in all, we have females who uh, are very strong and pursue this career, and they are really, really much encouraged to the course. The other one is that you might not actually finish or graduate in time. Why is this so? Because there are things that will come like strikes. You might also have units that are hard and you decide to take a break, which is also acceptable. And also, you might have retakes that might bring you down or cause you to take a while back and relax as you regain the energy to proceed. You might also not graduate entirely. Some people opt to quit and do other cheaper courses or easier courses, which is also acceptable. So number six, most employers they will not tell you this, but they prefer working with engineers or employing graduates who are engineers. You might find engineers working in banking, engineers working in sales, engineers working 
in the various sectors that are entirely not related to engineering. His own being, engineers solve problems, they are able to work under pressure and give solutions, and they are also critical thinkers. And those, that's why most people would actually prefer working with engineers. So the other one is uh, being a um, being a, a person who is not very sure, sure an introvert will not help you in engineering because majority of the time you will be required to work in teams. Even the projects given to you by the lecturers, you are given in groups and you will be like, required to work with people. That's why in the first year you are given courses like units like uh, communication skills because they require you to work with people so that you can work well and deliver. The other one, number eight, is that most of the lecturers are actually sadists. This is very true and most engineers can agree with me. Most of the lecturers who do trainings for engineers are actually not engineers and they may not understand the hardship that you guys or you students go through and they don't care whether you graduate or not. So you might encounter lecturers who are sadists and this should not discourage you from, from, from pursuing your degree and you push on and you find a way to maneuver and work and you finish your course but most uh, mostly 100 percent you'll meet lecturers who are sadists number nine you might end up being employed by some of your friends it's very true some of these guys uh, even those who are performing poorly in this course end up securing very good jobs and uh, what they do they call their friends or the guys who are friends in campus they they connect you to these opportunities or you are even going to work under them so make good friends and relate with people very well when you are in school because they might end up being your employer the last three you might encounter depression in, uh, engineering as i said is not an easy course and majority of the students who are depressed in campus are actually engineering students because when others are having fun you guys are studying you guys are doing projects very hard projects and you might end up being depressed all in all i wish you guys all the best this is a very marketable field don't shy away keep pushing and all in all you'll secure employment because this field has a very high demand in the us alone they have a shortage of 140,000 engineers so you are in the right field so keep pushing and all the best thank you